All right, time to practice writing functions on your own. Okay, write the code for set coin function, which is right here. Set the coin's velocity to move down. Set the coin's y position to the top of the screen. Randomize the x position. Okay, so here's the function. So let's write it. Okay, first thing we want the coin's y position to be at the top of the uh, top of the screen. So that would be sprites y position. Okay, and it's coin, All right? Coin, yeah, coin. Okay, coin. And the top of the screen would be zero. All right, now the X position they want randomized. So let's go X coin. And then we want random number. say between 10 and 390 and now we want it to fall which is the velocity y right because this is the y plane up and down so velocity y coin and then this is zero this is 400 so it's going to be going plus three or positive three let's see looks good yeah looks good all right, finish. Okay, let's make the score change now. Use an if statement and the is touching block to increase the score when the bunny catches the coin. Make sure you're calling the function to reset the coin once it has been caught. Play the game and randomize the velocity of the coin. All right, if statement is touching, if is touching, okay, if the coin is touching the bunny, We want the score to go up so that would be score and then plus one right because it's gonna add one so score plus one so every time it touches the bunny the score is going to add the score plus another one so if it's the score is three it's going to have three plus one to add one more let's check it out all right it's doing it okay Randomize the velocity of the coin to a range you think is fun. Oh, you know what we forgot? To reset the coin. We forgot to reset the coin.
So drop that function in there. Set coin. So it resets after it touches. So it's not adding all those tons of points. Right? Yeah, that's much cleaner. All right, now randomize the velocity. Where is that? Here's the velocity. So we'll go random number to one and five. Check it out. Yeah, that works. Okay. Good to go. Okay, once you've caught 10 coins, it's time to celebrate. Change the background to something fun. Use an if statement and two separate functions to draw your backgrounds. Then go write your functions outside of the draw loop. You can decide what a simple or silly background. Have fun. Okay. I'm going to do the backgrounds first. So I'm going to create a function. Call this simple back. So this will be our simple background. And I'll go control. No. Drawing background. Blue. And then we'll create a silly background. Silly back. And let's throw some random stuff in there. Let's go. 100, 100, 100, 100. And let's throw some text. Wowzers. Two hundred, two hundred. That's fine. That's pl that's plenty silly. Okay. Now we need to add the if statement for the backgrounds. Where's my ifs? Here we go. Ifs. Okay, if Okay, if the score is less than is less than what was it 10 10 coins okay if the score is less than 10 it's going to have the simple background simple back okay if the score is less than 10, it's going to have the simple background, meaning if it's higher than 10, it's going to have the silly background. Okay, run. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. Five. Come on. The moment of truth is upon us. Okay. 
Come on. There we go. We did it. Now that is silly. Okay. The provided code draws one of two different scenes based on where the mouse is on the screen. It either calls the draw screen function, draw scene function, or draw scene two function. However, these functions don't exist. Feel free to cr be creative and draw whatever two scenes you want. Okay, so create draw scene one and draw scene two. Alright, I'm not going to get crazy on this because we don't really have to. So here's draw scene 1 function. Here's draw scene 2 function. Okay, draw scene 1 function, draw scene 2 function. So if the mouse is greater than 200, it's going to be draw scene 1, otherwise it's going to be draw scene 2. All right. Um, let's go ahead and background green, and then let's go background red, and then throw an ellipse there, and throw a rectangle here. And run it and we can see it works right so you can put whatever you want in here I'm just doing that because why not and that's a wrap on this